Hey everyone, Jason back once again with another diecast review. Today we'll be taking a look at three new releases from Auto World. Now I picked these up from my friends over at Diecast Model Wholesale. Link in the video description below if you'd like to add them to your collection. We will be taking a look at today an open trailer and two enclosed 164 scale, true 164 scale trailers released by Auto World recently. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we'll take a closer look at the base of these. These are most likely shared with their other brand, Johnny Lightning. So yeah, they're still really cool being solo releases of trailers. The other way you can get these is picking them up in a set through Johnny Lightning. Which if you're gonna need if you're gonna put these with your vehicles, you're gonna have to do uh Johnny Lightning because Auto World trucks don't have any trailer hitches as of yet. We'll take a closer look at that. So yeah, starting off, we'll take a look at the open trailer and its packaging. We got Auto World right up here. Four wheel trailers, this features die cast metal chassis, removable die cast ramps, functional trailer jack, and rubber tires. I like how they got the uh, Mustang in the back looking like it's sitting on the trailer from a distance. Got the trailer and the ramp and everything. This is part of the Select Series Hobby Exclusive Version B. There is a silver version where the top is silver that is not out yet at the time of recording this review. Here's the back, as I mentioned, a silver one. Version A is not out yet, so if you'd like to read this, pause the video, take a closer look at it. Alright, so what I'm going to do is pause the video, we'll open this one up when I get back. Stay tuned. Alright, got the trailer out of its packaging, and I have to say, this is a really good release. It's got textured uh, top, paint detail looks nice on it. Got all the uh, side markers and warning lights going down the side. Rubber tires look great on this. But what do you expect from round two in Auto World? Of course, back here you got the place uh, where you hook your little uh, ramps. There you go. See, they just more or less hook right on. We'll take a closer look at that here in a second. Here's the bottom of the base. Got your production date number. Tooling number 44. There is no logo, so this I believe is definitely a shared tooling with uh, Johnny Lightning, but they just removed that Johnny Lightning logo. You can store the ramps in here just like you can on the Johnny Lightning versions. What we're going to do now is attach the ramps. They do have just like I said a little thing here. The peg in to the back. They don't really hook in. They just sit on it. There you go. We'll put our ultra red Jeep right there. So that's looking fantastic. Let's see here what's an alt what's a, got the uh, Chevrolet. That might be a big haul for this trailer and of course an Auto World exclusive square body as I mentioned the Auto Worlds don't have trucks don't have a trailer hitch on them so unfortunately you're not going to be able to hook the trailer up to the truck I mean you can probably get away with it by doing that in pictures so you're probably going to need to use one of your Johnny Lightnings or even a competitor brand die cast so yeah as I mentioned it does have functional trailer jack you just have to turn this down here it's tight but it will work so yeah that is the open trailer what we'll do now take a close look at those uh, enclosed trailers by looking at the package simple package same thing select series here's the back Pause the video if you'd like to read it. I'm pretty sure it's about the same. Same with the white one. No differences really. Except one says four wheel trailers here. The other is closed trailers. But the packaging is all the same. So we'll pause the video once again. Get these out of the package. We'll take a closer look at these as well. Stay tuned. Be right back. Alright. So we got the red, black and white trailer out. They are fantastic little uh, trailers. Looking at the black one here, the body of the trailer is plastic, but 
the chassis, the bottom is metal. This is the exact same tooling as you can see with the uh, open trailer tooling 44. They just put a delete thing right here to uh, so you put couldn't put any ramp doors or any or ramps in it. But the trailers are the same. Tires, wheels, and tires, I believe, are also the same. Yes, they are. Got the same. Uh, detail on the front diamond plating front edge here on the trailer all the side markers the back ramp door is painted nicely with lights and everything now this opens we'll see how hard it's going to be might need my little uh, tool hopefully not though yeah that's not going to be easy so we'll pause the video again Alright, got that open. That was more difficult than it needed to be. Had to use a little pick to open that up. But you can see got detailed interior. The side door even opens up just like the Johnny Lightnings do. So it's safe to say this is a shared tooling, obviously. Now, the true test is to see what can fit in it. We have, the, once again, the Ultra Red Jeep. It will, in fact, fit nicely as it rolls out. Chevy Silverado will not fit too wide of a truck. How about the Silverado? It will fit, or the square body will fit fine. Once again, if you have to kind of fake it, I mean, in pictures, you can do some uh, editing and stuff to make that look like it's attached. So that is the black trailer. We're going to take a close look at the white one now. We're not going to open it up because it's the same interior. Overall, it's the same trailer in every way except for color. The unfortunate thing is the white one, the doors are a different shade of white. Hopefully you can see that the walls are a different color white as the doors, which do kind of show up pretty badly. But there's the sides. Everything's the same except for color differences. So yeah, that is my review of the Auto Road all new release 164 scale open and enclosed trailers. If you enjoyed this review, and I hope you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more. I post new diecast reviews throughout the week, so be sure to click the bell for notifications. You can find me over on Twitter at JasonAStrain69. See you next time for an all new diecast review. Bye.